Hey, and mahalo. Welcome back. This is Maliner. So today I think we're going to make a few tools. I've got some uh, ingredients together here. i got some RE batteries, electronic circuits, some refined iron, and tree cap. And we are going to make several things. First of all, we're going to place these items in this shape. Refined iron, five. It makes a chainsaw. We get the lumberjack assessment achievement. This time we're going to make it in a vertical shape. Same five iron. It gives us a mining drill. Extremely important to get the meet the dentist achievement. And uh, let's see what's the other one. I think this also goes in a diagonal. You have to use a tree tap that's unused. This tree tap that I've been using has a damage bar. You have to have one that's unused. It gets an electric tree tap. And last but least, we have just an RE battery. And the reason is, let me put my RE battery in here. I'm going to charge it up. It'll hold 10,000 EU electrical units. And what that does is, if I'm holding a, an uncharged item like the mining drill, and then I right-click the battery while it's selected on the um, bar at the bottom, as I right-click it, it'll charge up discharged items on the bar. Just so happens the drill holds the same amount of charge. So now the battery is totally discharged and the mining drill is charged. So this allows us to carry transportable or um, portable I should say energy with us. So what we're going to do here we're going to drop a bunch of energy in here. I'm going to charge up the chainsaw just in case anything trickles across, which it is. And this is from the um, water mills. That's not quite halfway. We're going to let those charge. Now, the mining drill works quite quickly, but without the upgrade of the diamond drill that you can see up here, you cannot break obsidian. So when we get diamonds, we'll update th or upgrade this, which is just our normal mining drill and three diamonds. Gives us the diamond drill. So that'll be the upgrade we look forward to. Um, one little point about NEI when you type in things at the bottom. Anything with the word you type in, you know, it narrows your search. But if you right-click in this box, it, it blanks it out. But you still have to click outside the box to deselect it because if I start to type like I want to open or close my inventory and hit E, it's obviously not going to work. So I have to click out of the box and then close the inventory. All right. Chainsaw. RE battery. And last but not least, the electric tree mm -hmm. tap. And we'll leave that in there. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be fully charged just from the scaffolding, which is fine. Get a little more wood that I gathered. I also got a steak. I killed a cow. Killed a cow just to see him die. I also fed the cows. Got little baby cows running around. A little sick. Planted some weed out here mm -hmm. next to the water. And those will grow over time. And then I can mm -hmm. use the uh, wheat either to make bread or to feed the cows and make more cows. But I'll mm -hmm. show you that some other time. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a inconsequential thing. So right mm -hmm. now the bat box is fully discharged. Um, the tree tap is almost fully charged. <laughs> chainsaw and the mining drill are fully charged. And since it's night time, we'll run down to the mine real quick, have a peek. Go down to level 48, I believe, which is where I've been mining a little bit. As you can see, I'm not grabbing everything. I'm just wanting specific things, and I'll show you how this mining drill works. First, I want to eat an apple. Alright, you select the mining drill and you just pick, you, just like using a pick. Now I knocked out four cobblestone and it dropped my charge 200, so that's 50 per block. Alright. 
so I'll use my technique. I'll go down two, two spaces in between. I'll dig out five. Now the other advantage of the mining drill is it works like a shovel. So no more switch in between. I can actually get rid of the shovel. I really love the mining drill. It's the main reason I pursue IC2 first. Just so that I can get my mining operations uh, underway to a point where they are no longer a pain in my rear. I'll go five more torch in the middle. Go five more torch at the end. And five more to complete the sequence. So this drill will work like in like an iron pick. I can actually gather diamonds with it. Another great thing about mining by hand is all the experience. I'm already almost level 30. If I can get enough books, which I'm way behind on leather production, you know, I'm way behind on trying to get cows gathered. I haven't even tried to make a cow farm for leather. But if I can get the leather, I could really use some books and get an enchanting table going. Of course, I'll need diamonds, but I really haven't looked that hard for diamonds yet. And I think when I start looking, I'll probably find some pretty quickly. All right. Torch in the middle. Iron. It's breaking like crazy here. No problem, love the drill. Five more. It's a nice pattern. And five more. And I can't extend each of these outwards. I can if I want. That is where I dug through from the other side, I believe, yes. The end of the other passageway. Alright. And then the torches are on the right as I dig, so I know where the intersection is right here. Let's go out one more. And then we'll place a torch here. I like to put a torch basically every other, every other section. Now our drill is getting pretty low, so what are we going to do? We're going to go to our battery. We're going to right click and hold it. And that's enough for now. Discharge the, the battery 4200, increase the drill 4200. So there's no energy loss in doing this. It's just a way to carry more energy with you. Now we'll be upgrading our energy supplies later. I usually skip the, the um, handheld batteries. Um, I really, sh you know, there's no reason to skip it. I just usually have enough supplies to go ahead and move to the upgrades. But this time I kind of purposefully decided to take the extra step. Just kind of, I'm going to play this a little slow. I'm not going to get in too much of a hurry. I'm normally not that fast of a player anyway. But, um, particularly for the viewers to kind of see how things work and the, pr the progression. Because the upgrade to the battery is the battery. Bat pack holds 60,000. If you put it in your chest slot, it automatically, um, using these devices, automatically draws power. But the problem is the bat pack takes six batteries, an extra 10, and an electronic circuit. So it's fairly expensive as far as 10 goes. And um, since I don't have a whole lot of 10, I thought it would be a good idea just to stick with a battery or two because as I make extra batteries, charge them, um, I'll eventually be able to use those batteries to make a backpack, so I'm not actually wasting any materials. I'm going to make one more section here, and then it's getting daylight, I'm going to head upstairs. It's about time to start working on the upgrade to the water mill. It's not a true upgrade, it's just the next next best thing. Um, the water mills I'll probably leave them hooked up anyway because you know they have no other purpose so I'll probably leave them there. 
but um, I need to supplement that uh, power generation. So let's head upstairs. Up ladders. <laughs> Oops. Daylight. Well, there's some zombies dying out here. There's creepers. The minium stones. Or shards of minium. I've got shards of minium. Here, let's kill this creeper. I think I told you I hate creepers. Reason is, sometimes you feel you're far enough away and they still explode. I had one actually explode right here. I took out the front of my building. Didn't tear up my trees. Um, but I still wasn't very happy about it. something we'll do in the next, well, you know what? 
let's see there's some sand uh, right on the other side of the hill Ugh. let's see where's the sun at it's high overhead let's head this way I'm gonna run this is gonna make me really hungry probably shouldn't run just jumped over a crevasse yeah let's go this way quicksand I have to be careful this could be fatal that's the downside of using IC2 is having all of this equipment Whoops. okay I'm gonna kill a cow or two now and again why for the leather and the raw beef which I can cook and make really nice steaks uh-huh whoa quicksand let's find you know what I'm gonna kill one of these these guys drop ink sacks used for several things in fact here is some clay. Kind of need that. Oh, this is the bottom part of the village. But this is what I'm after right here is the sand. And I, I can go ahead and grab it. I don't have to have anything. I can punch this to get um, sugar cane. Some people call them reeds. Um, that makes per or, yeah. That makes water. Stuff sneaking up on me. 